All right, some more Devil Jin and Tekken 7. Um, as you could see, I'm fight. Well, this reel is taking place at the exact spot I left off at yesterday. I'm fighting the same person that I ended last video with. Um, uh, this is the. It, it's just for this fight, though. I'm gonna, I'm gonna fight someone different in this video. Uh, it's gonna be a bit of an interesting ending, I will say. Um, so yeah, uh, it, I had to record both videos in the same day. So if you somehow saw yesterday's video and you left a comment on it. If, if you did, um, just know that uh, I haven't had time to actually put your your tips into use. Uh, this is the same Devil Jin you saw yesterday. Um, not much improvement has been made here besides what I could figure out on my own through playing the matches. Um, so there is some improvement, but not much. Um, I just... I just don't know how I feel about this character yet. Uh, I, I don't know. Um, he's like... I don't know, man. That, I don't know if it's because I don't... Uh, it's This is my first time learning a new character. Like, in this game, the only character I learned was a normal Jin. Uh, so maybe this is why. But I just feel like nothing, and I said this in yesterday's video, but I feel like uh, learning this character is completely different from how I learned Jin, right? Maybe Jin was a one-time thing, but Jin, like I said in yesterday's video, you could use the same combo in all of his combo starters besides his sweep. So, I only need to know two combos on Jin. Um, and I'm sure uh, it's not optimal in every situation, but it is the optimal combo in some situation. Um, so I don't know. And then especially with this guy, it's just like his wall is really weird. So like when I when I do do one of the two combos that I know with this guy, and then they hit the wall, um, he doesn't have any moves that like Jin has like. Jin can do uh, back to one, uh, one two three, one two, th one two four. No, yeah, one two four, uh, or one plus two. Right, that's what I do when they hit the wall. But this guy doesn't have anything that's very obvious. Now that I'm thinking about it, maybe back to one is the best wall combo. Maybe. Um, yeah, but his wall game, unless I'm crazy, it doesn't seem nowhere near as free as uh, Jin is. Because you could do 1 2 4 or back 2 1 with Jin, and you can keep, like, taking them off the wall and putting them back on it. You can do it, like, two or three times. Uh, and, I, and obviously, I just started playing this character, so I'm not going to be able to do that right away. But just off of what I've played, it doesn't seem like he can even do that, right? It just seems like, I guess, a back 2-1 would be his best wall combo, and then that's it? Yeah, very weird. Like, right here, like, what am I supposed to do there? I have no idea. Like, with Jin, if they were that close to the wall, I would have done a move. Like, I would have done either 1 plus 2 or forward 1 plus 2. Uh in that situation in order to bounce them off the wall or just stick them to the wall um but with devil jin i don't know i don't think he has any moves that stick you to the wall he probably does but i just don't know them um but yeah like it's very see, see, like see how i'm sticking him to the wall and it's like putting him at the bottom of the wall right most of normal jin's moves put you in the middle or even at the top of the wall right it's very easy to to get wall combos with with Jin, and I don't know if this is something that every character has. Like, like I said, I only play Jin, right? So I don't know. I don't know if these are just Jin things. Like, oh, he's really good at wall combos, right? And every other character is only okay at wall combos. But um, this learning him feels completely different. Like, yeah. So there's another low parry. Don't know what I'm supposed to do off of it. Um, yeah, I just don't know. I don't know what I don't know what strings to use. I'm only using like two or three strings. Um, 
I don't. He doesn't have. Seemingly, right? Wait. Oh, I dropped it. I keep dropping the combo, but my only combo that I know is God Fist. Uh, forward, forward, four. Forward, forward, three, one, one. Back to one, and that's it. That that's the combo. There's a lot of damage, but it starts off of a God Fist. Um, and I don't know if he could, he can. If someone will let me know, this would be great. But I don't think he can do that combo off of any other starter besides God Fist. Um, and from what I can see, and, and please, if, if someone's seeing this, I need to know this. Does he have any other combo starters besides Sweep and God Fist, right? Because it seems like his only non-counter hit combo starters are God Fist and Sweep. Like, I, I keep dropping it there. I don't know if it's because of uh, her hitbox, but um, I don't drop it. Like, when I play now, I don't really drop it. It's just that it's so hard to land in the first place. It's off of a god fist. Yeah, his combo starters are very much more difficult than Jin. You can do like... Jin has like four or five combo starters, and you can do the same combo for all, all of them. So, yeah, I struggle. I struggle with this guy a bit. Um, and I, maybe I should be... Do I don't know, but I think I should be doing back four more. But like I said, I don't know the combo off of it, so... That'd be kind of pointless. Um, is the counter hit back four combo the same as my sweep combo, or no? Can I do more? Like I, I just, I just don't know with this guy. Um, I don't know. Uh, you know, tips would be appreciated, but I am gonna say that uh, I'm gonna be playing the new Melty Blood character, and also I'm going to be playing Street Fighter Six. So this is the last Jin video for at least maybe two weeks, right? Because there's a new Guilty Gear Strive update, there's a new Melty Blood uh, character dropping, actually two new characters dropping. So, I'm going to be playing them, right? So, the schedule for this month is going to be Tekken 7 today, Melty Blood tomorrow, Street Fighter 6 for the weekend, right? Uh, if I might not get Street Fighter 6 for the weekend, I might get it for Monday, so watch out for that. Um, if I get it for Monday, just know, uh, yeah, I'm sorry, I could've got, I, 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 I tried to get it sooner, but I couldn't get it sooner. Um, but I, I'm gonna have enough Street Fighter 6 recorded for the next two weeks, right, like I did last time. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna, uh, this week is gonna be, like I said, Tekken today, Melty tomorrow, Street Fighter for the weekend, and then Monday... Uh, it's going to be Street Fighter if I didn't get it up for the weekend. If I did get it up for the weekend, Monday's going to be the new Guilty Gear patch. Um, and then I'm going to probably play the other Melty character. I don't know. Uh, I'm only going to play one character tomorrow, but I might get the other Melty character on Tuesday. And then Wednesday might be more Guilty Gear. Um, and then I'm going to take a winter break. And my winter break, I'm just going to pre-schedule to upload all of my Street Fighter 6 content, right? I'm going to have like two weeks of videos just lined up for Street Fighter 6. Because I don't think any new fighting game stuff is going to drop uh, after this Guilty Gear patch. I, I think that's it for the month, right? Um, and before you say DNF Duel, I'm not playing DNF Duel ever again. So uh, I might check it out once in a while, but I'm not going to buy a season pass for a game like that. Uh, you got to be crazy. Um, I think it's just disrespectful to even offer a season pass after what they've done. Uh, if it's a free character, though, of course I'll check it out. But, uh, um, yeah, I'm not, I, I'm not interested in DNF Duel anymore after what they've done. Um, but like I said, I, I'll, I'll do a free character, but I, I, I ain't spending no money on that game. Nah. But, yeah. Especially when a game like Melty Blood exists, where they've given out, what, ten characters for free? 10 free DLC characters. Every DLC character that's in Melty Blood is free. Yeah, like, get out of here with that. Um, so, yeah. Uh, that's the schedule. Because um, I, I feel like I need a bit of a break. So, like I said, I'm going to grind next week and get two weeks worth of Street Fighter 6 videos uploaded. And then, that's, that's going to be it. Uh, I'll, I'll be back uh, 
I guess like January, some the first week of January. I guess I'll be back. Um, then I'll play some fighting games, and then Monster Hunter Rise will come out on consoles, and I'll be grinding that. I'll probably upload some videos on that because um, I I'm a, I really really like Monster Hunter. Um, so yeah, I'll be playing that a lot, and I'll probably make content out of it because. I'm gonna be playing Monster Hunter Rise so much I probably won't have time to record other games, honestly. So why not make content out of it? So that's the that's the schedule. Um, and then I might come back to learning Devil Jin, um, but I don't know yet. I don't know. Uh, I'm I'm not gonna be playing Tekken Seven for a good three weeks after this video, probably two weeks. Uh, I'm like I said, I might do one video next week for Tekken, but I don't know. But we got we got we got a stacked lineup ahead. Uh, unfortunately, they decided to release the Melted Blood and the Guilty Gear patch on the same day, and then literally the day after the Street Fighter Sega Beta starts. I don't know why they decided to do that, but whatever, whatever I guess. Um, and I do wish the Street Fighter Beta wasn't the exact same beta, but. That be how it be. So I'm gonna have to just deal with that. Um, but yeah, bit of a bit of a packed week, and I wish I can get it all uploaded at once, but it's just not gonna be possible because there's just so much. Um, and for the in regards of Street Fighter Six, I don't know if I'm gonna play another character. Um, so I played every character in the last beta besides Jury, Chun Li, and Kimberly. Um, those are the characters that I didn't care about. Um, but no, that's a lie. I did care about Kimberly. I didn't have the time to play her, though. Um, but I will obviously have the time now. I just don't know if I want to. I think Ryu was so much more fun than I ever expected. Ryu and Jamie, that I might just focus on them for the beta, honestly. Um, because the, the one character I want to play, Marissa, is obviously not in the game right now, so... Kinda can't play her, um, but she's the character I'm most interested in out of anyone. So yeah, um, I'm gonna have I'm gonna get a lot of footage because that might be the last time we play Street Fighter VI for a very long time. Um, unless they decide to do betas every two months, that would be nice. But I just don't know. I don't know if that's gonna happen. So we'll have to see. They might just do one every. Like, the next beta could be in March or April, who knows. It just sucks. It does. You know. I, that, that release date really does suck. It's, it's a bad release date. Uh, in my opinion. Right. Um, especially because the game felt pretty complete to me already. Uh, and it looks pretty complete to me. Right. There are only There's only three characters they haven't shown. So, I don't know, the game feels complete. I guess I just need that time to polish it up. Which uh, is unfortunate, because... Unless this Guilty Gear Strive patch does something absolutely incredible, you know, I just don't have a fighting game that I want to play right now, besides Tekken, obviously. Um, so, uh, I mean, if this, if this Strive patch really does change up the meta, that would be great. But I just don't know. Um, we'll, we'll, we'll have to see. But the last drive patch ended up pretty much reinforcing the meta instead of actually changing it. So, unfortunate stuff, I can't lie. But who knows? Maybe they've learned. Maybe they've learned. Anyways, you know, I got perfect did, but uh, this got a bit of a bit of a, gonna be a bit of a surprise ending here, I must say, because uh, let's just say this guy can't handle it. This guy can't handle the uh, the gin. So uh, you know, bit of a random video, like always, but like and subscribe if you want. And uh, yeah, I'll be back with Melty Blood tomorrow. And uh, yeah, peace. And uh, yeah, look what this guy did. <laughs> He couldn't handle it. My my devil gin was too amazing for him. But yeah, uh, I'll, I'll be back tomorrow with, with some melty blood. So peace. Hey,
never fear loose. And when I get up in the game, you're up here and prove. A real problem, but I solve them all facts proof. And if you think I'm gonna fold, then you told me fool. Yeah, y'all wanna win, let me spin, boy. I dunk the side, I'm super fly, like I'm hanging off the rim, boy. I've been winning for my kin folk, and I put on for my city from the intro. Let's I go. I put that time in. My pride is out the roof, I get that grind in. So I'ma tell the truth, I get my grind on. You know the pressure make all of these diamonds. I tell them get back, step back, fast track, big lap, big facts. I'm past that, yeah. I'm trying to get ahead, get out the way. Now move forward, stand back, now break away. I'm about to bring it on. I ain't never backing down. Took a step up to the flag. From a city, from a town. I do whatever it takes. I'ma go and get this oh, oh, I'ma go and look around. I'm not looking back. I'm on the road to the top and I'm not.